what the H-E double hockey sticks is Loki even about at this point? I am fresh off watching episode four, season two of Loki. And to be honest with you at this point, I don't even know what I'm watching anymore. I'm going to attempt to summarize the plot, but what's interesting is the article I'm about to show you also struggles to summarize the plot because there is nothing going on. I have no idea what the show is about at this point. I vaguely understand that the TVA is 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 failing, and there will be spoilers for the episode, so I hope you watch this, and, and, and we'll talk about it. Maybe you know it better than I do. I just I don't understand, like, what is even going on. It just seems like the temporal loom is collapsing, so what I don't understand is why you need a machine at the end of time to control time. We'll put all that aside. We'll assume that he who remains understands like how to build all of this thing to control time and create timelines that can be pruned and yada, yada, yada. Even though Victor timely seems like a complete buffoon and doesn't know anything about what he's doing or what he's like, he meets Ouroboros and he's like, I'm a big fan of you, OB. And OB's like, I'm a big fan of you. He who remains, even though you're Victor timely. <laughs> I don't even know where to begin. How about we just bring up the article so I can show you that even reviewers, professional reviewers like The Rap, don't know where anything is going or anything that's going on. I suppose they're trying to build a machine that is trying to stop the TVA from collapsing. And there's factions where they're trying to get some of the people who were pruning timelines, which should have stopped the loom from collapsing, but didn't stop the loom from... Like, none of the internal logic of the show makes sense. And it seems to me that there's like seven people who are on the show that are just running around really cool sets shouting about things that don't make any sense. Because... They don't bother to explain anything, and I don't understand. There's Owen Wilson, Loki, B44, B14, X4, whatever that guy's name is. Uh, Obi, Sylvie, and Renslayer, and Miss Minutes. And that's it, because they keep talking about armies. You led his army, uh, Ravona Renslayer finds out that he who that guess him, uh, he who remains, and one of them, one of the the Kangs, was in love with her, and she was leading his armies, and then he decided to wipe her memory. Who cares? Who cares? I am so sick of all of this Kang stuff. I just don't care. I don't care. The show is so uninteresting. It's ridiculous. So, again, major spoilers, but at least the one that was the, at least the previous episode, and I've I reviewed episode one and I skipped episode two and three because again nothing happens. At least the one that was at the World's Fair in like the 1890s had some. It was like interesting to look at. I mean, I do like the sets. Don't get me wrong. I feel like all the money went into the sets and the actors, and then they forgot to write a show because nothing that happens makes any sense. First of all, let's just explore the one fundamental piece of the show. The time loom that he who remains is collapsing. You have Loki and Owen Wilson trying to save it with OB. What is Ravona Renslayer trying to do? If she destroys the TVA, they all die. Miss Minutes also dies. Do they have an alternate loom that no one has shown us? Do they have some sort of magical like information that they're not telling us about how they can fix the loom? They have their own alternate thing because they end up kidnapping Victor Timely and... Nothing happens. There's no 
like what to like tell us about the piece of equipment you need to make and he's trying to explain it and it's like if you have the same goal of trying to repair the loom whether or not ravona Renslayer controls it or loki and the tva control it you both want the same goal why are you letting the thing just be destroyed and then the show's executive producer saying like war is coming war between who the seven people in the TVA, like, what are you talking about? At some point, they, uh, the female security guard ends up proposing to the offshoot of, I guess, renegades from the TVA that they should join them. But then Ravona Renslayer comes in and kills all of them. Why? What was the point of that scene? I don't know. It didn't. I mean, the writing is so dumb. It doesn't make any sense. And I kept waiting for something to happen because unfortunately I knew spoilers of this. But. Spoil. The only thing that happened. They even talk about pie. There's a whole scene about hot cocoa. And I'm fairly sure in the 1890s that hot cocoa it existed. Like, there's a machine that makes hot cocoa. I'm pretty sure people knew what coffee was. So I don't think hot cocoa... You know, coffee's made of a bean. And guess what cocoa's made of? A bean. I'm pretty sure it's not that hard to make coffee versus hot cocoa. He's like, what is this hot cocoa you speak of? Are you people that dumb? So towards the end of the episode, one thing finally happens. They put together this machine. Victor Timely is supposed to go, and there's a whole thing about they can't get through the blast doors because they don't have the Kang essence. So all that requires is Kang to stick his head in a machine so that they can activate it. Why not just make it fingerprint so they could cut off his hands? There's a whole thing about, like, we we have to reboot Miss, Miss uh, Minutes. So that we can get into the machine and blah, 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 blah. Yet all the machines still work, even though you rebooted everything. And then on top of that, you have, they're like, oh, remove the magic bands so that Sylvie and Loki can use magic. And what do they do? They use it to control a guy so they can prune somebody. And if I remember correctly, I watched the first season. When you prune somebody, they just go to the end of time. They don't die. They don't dis- They keep call- talking about it, like you prove these timelines and all these people are dead. If I remember correctly, all the variants that had been pruned of all the Lokis all went to just another place. They're not dead. So Ravona Renslayer is not dead, and all the people you they keep whining about all oh, these timelines, all these people are dead. Are they dead or are they not? The internal logic of how they explain the show is un. It, it's impossible to understand. It's just dumb and doesn't make any mis- sense. So essentially, Victor Timely decides that he's going to get into the suit and run outside amongst all the temporal radiation, and he gets turned into spaghetti. Congratulations. And then the whole thing explodes, and apparently everybody's dead. whoop woo And now, of course... They planned on making Victor Timely a good guy, you know, because they have to make their, you know, in modern writing today, the Vic, the the enemies or the the uh, the villains all have to be likable, and they all have to have like they can be good guys too, because that all makes sense. This show, I I like Tom Hiddleston, Owen Wilson, I, I like these guys, and this show is just it's about nothing. I, and I just don't care. I don't even know why. I'm watching it because I'm trying to bring it to you guys. And I know I skipped two episodes, but there's just nothing to talk about and nothing happens. If I told you that yet another Kang died, would you care? Right? Just like the... 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 the, the, the showrunner is saying how like, I don't think Ravona Renslayer is purely bad. Okay. Great. I I just don't care. This is this is a waste. Everybody's dead. Congrat yeah, because I believe that, you know, Loki season three won't happen. So I really believe that Sylvie and Loki are dead. And and Owen Wilson. They're all dead. You know? 
whatever. What a waste of... The show is a waste of your time. It's a waste of my time. This is just bad. It's terrible. They need to fire everybody and start over. They, Marvel's just a waste. So that's how I feel. How do you feel? I know some people like this and whatever. Kill me in the comments. It's okay. I will read and respond to all of them. But I just don't understand. Tell me what the plot of the show is. Tell it to me. They don't go anywhere. They just run around the TVA and eat pie and talk about their feelings. It's annoying. So anyway, thank you for listening. Please feel free to super chat us. And we have memberships. Come join. Get your degree. You need to be educated, and we're here to help you. You could be, you could be a doctor or a bachelor's of orc science. We've got you all covered. Thanks again. We appreciate it. Big like, big subscribe. You do you. We'll do us. But I am on to the next one. <laughs>